dear participants of the Model European Union in Strasbourg, thank you for the invitation to support your project, Model European Union. I'm glad for the opportunity to send you this video message. I want to acknowledge all of you, nearly 200 young people, for participating in this simulation. It is exciting to have so many ambitious and talented people under one roof to discuss European politics and debate about the future of Europe. I am happy to hear so many of you have traveled from far to participate. I can't stress enough how important and valuable your simulation is. The last 11 years this project has brought hundreds of young Europeans together with the aim to bring the EU closer to young people and foster their European identity and democratic values. It is an enormous opportunity to listen, learn and push forward your fresh ideas and then use them in practice. Indeed, it is the young people of Europe who are the future. And this is why we have to carry our responsibility of shaping the world towards a better tomorrow. It is our duty to leave the world in a better condition than we found it. Europe has faced challenges with the economic crisis, terrorism, migrant flows, as well as globally with populism and climate change. Although these developments might feel worrisome, I want to emphasize that the future looks brighter and fuller of opportunities than ever before. Let me explore a few themes that will affect our future to a great extent. The future megatrends, circular economy and artificial intelligence will shape our lives into a new and better direction. I encourage you all to take these megatrends as a new opportunity. Firstly, circular economy has set Europe on an irreversible trend. It helps us turn the challenge of overconsumption of resources and generation of waste into new opportunities. It will strengthen European leadership in resource efficiency and competitiveness. Secondly, digitalization is radically transforming the way people study, work and do business. Artificial intelligence will make our societies more efficient and productive. However, we also need to assess what impact new technologies will have on humans, on jobs, human autonomy and inequality. We need to take every citizen with us to the digital economy. This trend implies that we need to improve the skills of all European citizens and ensure everyone's possibilities to education and developing their critical thinking and creativity. And you, the future of Europe, are in a great position to address these new opportunities and develop your skills further. I was happy to hear your topics of the simulation, work and life balance and privacy in electronic communications. Discussing these topics and developing them further are important and furthermore, they will also develop your essential skills of creative and critical thinking further. At the time of your closing ceremony, I will be visiting the United States. E-privacy will be one of the topics I will be discussing with the people I meet. With the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, coming into force on May 25th, Europe is showing the way globally how to protect our data online. Dear participants of Modern European Union, I want to underline that the future megatrends are not only new opportunities, but necessities towards a more productive and sustainable economy and society. They will change our lives, but above all, in a positive way. I want to thank you wholeheartedly for the work you are doing at the Model European Union. The European Union will not be the same without you. I hope you found this simulation in Strasbourg productive and look forward to hearing about its outcomes. I also hope you take what you learned from it and use it to participate in the discussions on the future of Europe and have an impact on it. The keys to it are in your hands. I wish you all the very best for your future. Thank you.